Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about the meditation technique that I find works for me and how it can help you in your daily life. Stay tuned. So why do this? Meditation is a great way to start your morning and it can bring a sense of ease and brightness to your day. I enjoy meditation for experiencing bits of bliss and bits of ecstasy that can last with me throughout my day. It also reminds me not to take life seriously. I also enjoy meditation for manifesting my desires, which I have done on many occasions, and also out-of-body experiences, uh, dreams, lucid dreams, and meeting my spirit guides, and also experiencing source consciousness. But when you experience source consciousness or the bliss body, it's very, very intense and very, very blissful. <laughs> <coughs> but um, I can experience it every morning and every night before I go to sleep. Sometimes a lot more, and then sometimes a lot less. It depends on how much food I eat, what kind of food I eat, what I've been doing throughout the day, and who I've been hanging out with. But yeah, that's what I mainly use meditation for. Uh, my technique, well, the technique I got taught, sorry, is simple and effective. It's just like a four-step process. So step one, you sit up straight, head straight, in your meditation posture of your choosing you can sit in a chair or on the ground on the ground is much better as close to the earth as possible um, step two you begin to breathe deeper but joyfully with a smile <laughs> breathing with a smile for at least two minutes tricks your brain into thinking you're happy so you really want to come at this with a joyful attitude so as you got that breathing deeper and you're sitting there with a straight back, each breath should be slow, comfortable, you breathe into your belly and out through your nose, so all of this is done through your nose. And as you've got that going and you're doing this joyfully and slow, not all the way out, just far enough as, as comfortable for you, then you move on to the next step. The next step is you begin to check the energy flow. So you want to experience energy coming up from the ground through the base of your spine, right to the top of your head, not out through the top of your head, just to the top of your head. And then you want to experience <coughs> another energy flow coming from the top of your head down to the base of your spine. Never ever push the energy outside of your body, just Feel the energy coming up the base of your spine as you breathe in and as you breathe out from the top of your head down to the base of your spine. You can keep doing this until you feel a really nice energy flow. One going up your spine and one going down your spine. Um, if you've noticed like some places as you're moving the energy through your body, some places a little bit more harder to go through than others, then slowly work on this area. You can do this for 10, 20, 30 minutes, but what this is doing is, if you know anything about chakras, this is unblocking your chakras, and those blocked chakras you'll feel because the energy is harder to push through those particular spots. Now once you've got a really nice energy flow going on, you might feel the top of your head beginning to tingle, all these sensations on the top of your head. This is what you're looking for. When you've got this, you can move on to the next check. Can you see the light? You might see a flashing light to begin with. I see this lots. But this is basically all, all that is, the source consciousness coming down through the top of your head. When you've seen that, then this is where you can pick the emotions that you want to feel. This is where you can pick um, what you want to manifest in life. These are the two main ones that I like to use, manifestation and picking the emotions, ecstasy, definitely ecstasy. Lots and lots of ecstasy. 
And the more you allow yourself, your energy to flow up, and as you go into that light, the more you get to experience. It's a slow, gradual goal, um, flow, yes, but the longer you do this, the better you feel, and <laughs> then you also get to see, start to see reality as it is. It does take time and practice to get this. I enjoy doing this with other people because it speeds up my process and it speeds up their process. Uh, but yeah, this is what I like to do and this is my technique for manifestation because when you're in, when your head's opened up and you're starting to feel and sense and see energies, this is when you can start to visualize to manifest what you want to happen in life and it gets quite crazy. It will happen if your visualization is strong, filled with love, it will happen to a T. And I mean a T, like an amazing T. I've experienced this multiple times where I'm like, wow, wow. And it's blown my mind multiple times. So I just wanted to make this short, quick video talking about the manifestation technique or the meditation technique that I use every day and it works for me. Um, you can also use this to astral travel, experience other people's energies, and so on. Yeah, so thank you for watching. If you like this content, give it a thumbs up. Do you use this technique, or do you experience this, what I've been talking about? Uh, comment below. And yeah, subscribe if you want to. <laughs>